Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sam and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are starting our 30 day gua sha challenge. So I posted a gua sha transformation video and routine that you guys absolutely loved and it was a two week version where I did morning and night. And what I have found is that it is very important to keep up with the routine. You can't just do it and then totally stop and expect the results to stay. So I posted that video about seven months ago back in December. It is currently July. I haven't completely stopped doing the gua sha, but I definitely haven't been doing it as often as I would have liked to because of traveling and moving and just being really busy. Now that that's an excuse because obviously like I've showed you guys, it's like a less than five minute routine. So obviously, should have been keeping up with it. But the reason that we're starting this video today is because, wait till you guys see this video. Okay, so I'm like about to seriously expose myself. Um, I was like, oh, well, I'll start this video in August or something, you know, but I saw this video of me today at my modeling shoot that I was taking for like BTS content and I zoomed in on it and I was like, oh my gosh, like I was just standing there and I have such a bad double chin in this video, like it's so embarrassing. So I saw that and I was like that's it 30 day challenge is starting today so it doesn't look that bad in person um weirdly enough I think that one side is more defined than the other so this is the side that I think is more snatched and this is the side let me try and move my hair and this is the side that I think could use a little help um naturally like when i talk i talk like out of the side of my mouth it's so weird i don't know why i do it it's like just something i always have done and the way i do i kind of give myself like a little bit of a double chin there um and disclaimer before i start this video natural beauty is beauty like you don't have to change anything about yourself. Um, I'm not like saying a certain look is more beautiful or anything like that. You guys know what I'm trying to say. But personally, I just don't want a double chin that just doesn't fly with me. I'm turning into like a chin influencer, a chin influencer, but um, this is something I'm passionate about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay guys, I'm just gonna start it today, okay? So this is my day one of my 30 day challenge, Tuesday, July 26th. So I will see you guys August 26th to talk about the results. And if you guys wanna see the routine and how I do the washa, I will leave that video link down below. Also have an updated routine that I did a couple weeks ago, so I will leave that down there as well. And I always link all the products and the gua sha tool that I use personally. A ton of you guys have bought it through my link, so definitely check that out if you're interested and yeah wish me luck hopefully i don't look like this 30 days from now yeah hey guys so the last time you saw me was a month ago from today so i've done a two week gua sha challenge i have shown you guys my updated gua sha routine and this time i wanted to show you guys a month-long challenge so i literally just got out of the shower um i just worked out showered i have nothing on my face and i got my hair done yesterday i have some bangs but I wanted to just show you guys and talk to you guys a little bit about my 30-day challenge How it went if I saw results if you should do it too if I recommend this above the two-week challenge I did um, So let's get into all that. Okay, so this little guy is the talk of the town um, My video from the first time I posted my gua sha routine is like still going viral. It has around like I don't know, 590,000 views right now or something. Something crazy compared to all my other video views, so thank you guys so much. And then I did an updated routine of things that I learned that helped me more or things that people actually left in the comments to teach me how to do it a little bit better. I adapted a few things in my skincare routine as well. And I will leave all the links down below for the gua sha I use, the serums I recommend, um, the moisturizers, all of that. I hope you guys like it as much as me. Basically, I first started doing the gua sha like a year and a half ago maybe two years i wasn't really serious about it though or anything like that and then i decided to really sit down and teach myself how to do it i'll also link the original tutorial i watched to teach myself how to do this below so i took it very seriously for two weeks and i did it every single morning and night no matter what and i took a transformation photo and my face went from this to this and it was pretty wild. I couldn't believe how much of a transformation it was. I would say um, a lot of it has to do with face bloat and lymphatic drainage. Like I don't think my face actually changed shape that dramatically in just two weeks. I think over time that definitely can happen though. Um, so 
What triggered this challenge, this 30 day challenge, was actually a behind the scenes video I was taking of myself at a modeling job. And like, I watched the video back and I was like, and I hadn't been doing my blog shot consistently and this video just really kicked my confidence, I would say. Also the thumbnail, probably why you clicked on this video. Basically, I did the same routine as I showed you guys in the second video and I just did it 30 days consistently. So like I said, my first challenge was two weeks morning and night and then this one was 30 days just once a day whenever I had time. I think that if you're starting to incorporate this in your routine and you're not used to doing a more extensive skincare routine that if you try to do it once a day, it's probably a little more practical, especially if you're very busy. If you work a nine to five and you're rushing out the door in the morning, it might be better for you to do it at night. I did it at night or in the morning, depending on what my schedule was that day. And I haven't done it yet today. So as I'm talking, I'll do it with you guys. So I have gotten some questions on the first video. Like, is this something you have to do consistently? And the answer to that question is the answer that that, like no one really wants to hear but I would say yes it's the same thing as working out it's the same thing as reading or learning it's like if you don't use it you lose it type of thing so I think it's one of those things like physical activity like working out where you need to maintain in order to see the results or to get further results um, it's definitely not something that you can do for just a couple days and then like for the rest of your life expect to have a chiseled jawline that's just not how life works we all know that um, and it's the answer that none of us really want to hear, but the answer that we all kind of know deep down, you know what I mean? Like anything that you want requires effort and you have to put effort in to see results of pretty much anything. So I would say if you want to see consistent results, definitely stick with this guy. I do think though that my cheekbones and my face structure have changed dramatically since I started using the gua sha. I see it in my modeling photos. I see it in my daily life. Like I can see it right now in the mirror. And that's not to say that part of it isn't just me in my younger 20s my face thinning a little bit like my looks do change throughout the years you know what I mean so I think that as I'm getting a little bit older my face is getting a little bit thinner as well but I think that this has a lot to do with this area especially in this area. So I started doing the gua sha originally because I had an insecurity of my like little double chin. Um, it's some, it's more so on this side actually. Like it's hard to see from this angle because you guys are positioned a little bit higher than me. It's definitely something that no matter how much I weighed, it didn't have to do with my weight. I always had like a little bit right here. And especially when I look down, you can probably see it now. And from modeling and influencing and having pictures taken of myself all the time, it was something that I started to notice and got a little bit insecure about. If you guys know from my other routines, all you do, we put a little serum on. Oops, <laughs> fell. Today I'm using, um, the Coco Kind Serum. I usually use Art Essentials. Those are the ones I'll have linked down in the description box. I just feel like for the price, those are the best quality. Um, so that's why I have those linked. I mean, serums can run upwards of hundreds of dollars. I don't really necessarily think that's necessary. Who's not to say they could be better or not, but I mean, the ones that are about 10 bucks have done me just fine. So First we start down here, everyone's pretty much problem area why they start the gua sha. You start right, right in the center of your chin and use this little knot. And I do 10 reps on each side. And you can like do this little massage up here. Um, I think it helps a little bit with drainage more than if you were to just do it like this. I picked that up from the original tutorial I had watched and that's how she did it. That's how I did my two week challenge. It's not really how I did my 30 day challenge, if I'm being honest. Um, but I do think after doing it consistently for the 30 days, um, my double chin has gotten better. I think like one of the most essential um, parts of this is to put the knot here like over your cheekbone and go up like this too. And also disclaimer, I have rosacea I'm not like hurting my skin. I get super, super red. And like, if I'm outside and it's hot out, my face gets red like this. If I'm doing skincare, my face gets red like this. If I'm embarrassed, my face gets red like this. So this is just my skin type, just so you know. 
and you want to make sure when you're around your eyelid and your under eye that you're being the most gentle that you are on your entire face obviously we want to be gentle on our skin on our whole face but the skin underneath of here is particularly sensitive and it's some of the most delicate skin that we have so if you only have one face you want to make sure you take care of it kind of relaxing too and then um I put like the serum on my face and then it kind of gets absorbed pretty quickly. So if you lubricate it with a little bit of water as you're going through the routine, it helps um, the gua sha to slide more easily. You never want to be dragging it across your skin. If you're dragging this tool across your face, it definitely means you either need to add more water or more serum. I would say not to be afraid to add extra serum unless it's like a retinol and you've never experimented with something like that before because i know of some people who do have reactions to that so as long as it's like a more gentle serum i don't see a problem with um adding more okay and then the forehead i'm like breaking out a little bit i was like almost gonna save this video to when i wasn't but that's not realistic and also has nothing to do with my breakouts this video you know okay so now i'm just kind of going crazy but i usually do 10 here 10 here and 10 on this side and then everything that you saw on this side i will do on this side as well Okay, and there you have it. Um, I like to do this a lot in the morning if I have a modeling casting or if I'm shooting or something like that. It definitely makes me feel a little more snatched. Um, if you wake up and you feel like you have puffy eyes or allergies or your face is a little puffy in the morning, um, I definitely recommend doing it in the morning. Sometimes it's better to do it at night. It just totally depends on who you are and your routine and everything like that. But I will continue to be doing this every day. I think that I definitely have seen an improvement in the past 30 days from doing it consistently. I think that the the key to this is just to do it consistently. I don't think that there's any shortcuts, um, much like most things in life. So if you want to do it with me every day, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you guys next time.